Hi, I'm George Egger and you join me today on Pit 6 on the A1 Pits Complex near Nottingham. It's a really large water of about 50 acres so it's obviously demanding if you want to get the best results. Over the last few years I've been fishing some big waters and hopefully I'm going to talk you through a few of the tactics that I've used to have good results on those type of waters. Firstly, location is absolutely paramount. If you're not on the fish, you're not going to catch them. And they could be hundreds of yards away on a venue like this. So keeping your eyes open for any signs of fish moving or any activity will definitely point you in the right direction. And also the fish can move with such great ease on these waters and they could be at the other end of the lake within minutes. So you really have to be prepared to move. Bait and bait application are another factor that are crucial in determining success on a water like this. I like to keep my bait going in, in a few different areas of the lake so that the fish are picking it up on a regular basis and finding it as a valuable food source. Now the monster squid boilie are perfect for this, the fish absolutely love it in every water I've ever fished. And mixing this in with stuff like hemp and pellet and a lot of rock salt often brings the fish back for more. Now on a water such as this, I'd often bait areas, about four different areas of the lake, so that when I turn up, no matter what the wind's doing, I can always get into an area where I've been baiting. Now when I'm baiting areas, I like to keep a good spread going in, so that I can possibly fish it from two different pegs, depending on how busy the lake is. But if, say, I was concentrating on a specific area, where I think the target fish is going to come from, I'd go for more of a specific spot on the bottom, whether it be a gravel bar, a clay hump, a silt depression, or anything like that, and I'd keep the bait pinpointed in that area, so that the fish keep coming back to that specific spot. Now on a water such as this, in the spring, when the water's at its clearest and the weed's at its lowest, the fish try and find sanctuary somewhere where they think they won't get caught. And that's often the middle of the lake. And on a water such as this, the middle of the lake can be 300 yards from any bank. So distance fishing is obviously a must. And unfortunately, we've just found ourselves where we have to cast single up baits out as far to the fish as we can. Now this year, I've been using the new Decam Mono. It's a really good casting line, really supple and low diameter, but it keeps them abrasion resistant qualities of heavier lines. So I know that it'll cast as far as I can possibly cast and it won't let me down when I need it most. Having talked about bait application and location, I think they're the two most critical factors in determining success on such a big pit. Now you may say why haven't I mentioned rigs, and in my mind, once you've got your location and your bait application correct, rigs are almost secondary, because these fish don't see as much pressure as the smaller venues, so you can afford to step up a little bit. I mean, I use size 4 fang X's on waters like this, where on a smaller water I might use a 7 or an 8. The fish do trip up easy when they're feeding well on your bait and you've got the right location so don't be afraid to up your tackle because these demanding pits they will give you gear some abuse. As for how the current session's going we got down last night and there was a few fish out in front of this swim they were about 200 yards out but I've put I've put two rods out at mega distance as far as I could maybe 140 yards on single hook bait I've put a little bit of bait out at about 80 yards where I found a nice gravel spot. I haven't had anything yet and I was actually preparing for a move, but the wind swung a little bit more northerly into us and I've seen a fish just recently that's made me want to stay in this swim. I've got one night left to try and get one on the bank, but I will be coming back up here over the next few months because it's a cracking water and there's some really special fish in here, so I'll keep posted with how I get on. Thank you.